Dave here, how are you? I'm doing some hand finishing on the dovetail. So I've got a disc sander, but I thought there's a lot of people out there that aren't as fortunate as me and don't have a disc sander. They've got hand tools, which is fantastic. So I'm going to use a low angle block plane. It's a 69 and a half rider low angle block plane. I'm using this because I'm going across end grain. Now I'm only going to work from the right to the left because I'm right handed. So I'll be taking this pin down first. So if these are pins, these are dovetails here, okay? So we're gonna work on the end grain of the pins and I'm gonna work from the right across to the left. I'm gonna take each pin down one at a time. Otherwise, if I'm trying to do all of them, I'm gonna get moved around the underside of the plane isn't going to register properly with this plane, which another plane, which is a surface. That's why they call this plane, because it gets things onto one plane. So I'm gonna go through with this first and then I'm going to sand it and you'll see how nice it comes up. So here we go. I'll put the glasses on because that helps. I've got it down very shallow and this part here is designed for you to be able to push against. I'm going to go at a bit of an angle. You can see we're nearly there. When you get very close you might leave a little mark like that so be careful you don't push down on the back of the plane. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. There, that one's just about done. Moving on to the next one. If you were left-handed, you'd be starting from the other side and working this direction. I'm making sure I'm not hitting this one at all or not riding up on it. I'm going along beside it. Keep a check on it. Here we there. Done. Next one. Then this one. Done. And the last one. On the last one, don't be tempted to tip the plane over at an angle. Still keep it parallel to the surface here. Got it. Okay, so that's all done. So I'm going to use. 180 grip paper to start. I don't need to go to 120 on this. I think 180 will be fine. And I'm using a flat piece of wood as a sanding block. And because I'm sanding, I'm going to put the helmet on because obviously there's no dust extraction with sanding. So I'll put this on. So you'll hear a little noise. Cool. Now while I'm sanding, I'm going to keep the block dead flat. So as I'm moving backwards and forwards, I'm not going to be tempted to push down at the back and lift the block up at all because that would be terrible. I'm just moving slowly across. I'm putting a substantial amount of weight out. I'm putting it down evenly. I'm not pushing forwards onto it. I'm not pushing backwards onto it. I'm just doing the whole surface. I'm not doing this. If we do this, we're going to get swirlies everywhere and that's going to be a pain. So go along the drain. Pretty important. If I go to the next trip, my stretch becomes a little longer along the board. I've already finished the other end. So what I'm trying to achieve here is I'm overlapping. So I'll go 180, 240, 400, and then maybe 500 all the way down to there. I've got some spots here. I would like to see the grain coming up like this in this area. It hasn't done it yet, so I need to work that a little bit more. This one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. Must be a bit of a dip in the middle here. So I'll just work the center for a while. That's looking better already. See that? That's pretty cool. This one needs a bit more, so does this. A little bit of break out in the back of there. Work it a bit harder. Ah, I can see that pushing better. Alright, 400. I'm going to go to 500. 
and then the last one will be 800. There's 500 here. Now if your paper, see this here, if it's got some tears on it, don't put that over because it's going to be a pain. It's really going to leave a scratch. So I'm going to favour uh, this side. So that I've got that torn bit around the edge there so it's not going to affect anything. I'm just working carefully to start. Caught it again. Working with the stuff with the holes in it isn't ideal. That's all I had. Pretty good. Nearly there. 800 is the last trip that I'll go to. bits here as I said that's just a little bit of tear out because it's just such a soft grain I possibly should have put a little bit more glue in there and take the helmet off and there we go if I got the compressed air out now and blew all that off it will come up absolutely beautiful so there yeah, that's it let's have a look at the whole thing that's the corner that we've just hand finished pretty cool hey if you're wondering why when you're doing sanding things weren't going nicely there's some tips it's always nice to get a nice sharp crisp 90 degree corner if you like what i'm doing give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel click that little button down there and the bell notification thing icon and i shall see you next time bye